Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to use virtual hosts on Apache on CentOS 7. Virtual hosts will allow you to have multiple websites hosted on the one server. To get to this point you'll need to have Apache installed and I'll link to my video on how to install Apache below. If you're also just using one server for testing, you'll have to configure DNS to allow you to fully test. So I'll also link below my video on how to manually set DNS on a CentOS server. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do here is create two folders for our two new sites in the Apache directory. So let's just see where we are here by typing pwd. And you can see I'm in var dub 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 html. So you need to cd into here by doing cd var dub 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 html. Okay, perfect. So the first thing we want to do is create our folders. So I want to type in sudo mkdir. I want to call this site one. Prompt it, enter your root password. Okay, and then I'm just gonna press up to go up to my previous command and change that to a two. Perfect, and I'm gonna type in ls now and we can see I have site one and site two. So I'm just gonna make sure that Apache can access them by doing sudo chown apache colon apache minus capital R site one. Okay. And I'm going to press up arrow again and going to press site 2. Okay. Okay, now that we have created our two site folders, I'm just going to create two quick files in each folder so we know which site is which. Okay, so I'm just going to type in vi and I'm going to type site 1 forward slash. I'm going to type in index.html. Oh, I'm just going to put sudo in front of this as well. Okay, I'm going to type in my password. And I'm just going to type in, this is site 1. Press escape, colon, w, q, exclamation mark to come out. And I'm going to press my up arrow. And I'm just going to come back to 1 and change this to 2. And I'm just going to... Press I to go into insert mode and type in this is site 2. Escape colon WQ exclamation mark. Okay, perfect. Okay, now that we've created our two sites, let's create our sites available and sites enabled folder in our Apache config settings. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to cd forward slash etc forward slash httpd. Okay, type in ls and I can see I'm in the right place. So first I'm going to type in sudo mkdir sites minus available, a-v-a-i-l-a-b-l-e. And I'm just going to press my up arrow and I'm going to create another folder called sites enabled. Type ls and I can see they're available now. Okay, now that we have those two directories created, let's configure Apache to make sure it can see them. So I'm going to type in vi, well, let's actually type in sudo vi. I'm just going to tab here and I'm going to go to conf and I'm going to go to httpd.conf. Okay, so I'm going to page down to the end of this file here. I'm going to Press I to go into insert mode. I'm going to press enter to come down. And I actually have this on my clipboard here. And I'll include this below so you can just copy and paste in. But I'm going to type in include optional sites enabled forward slash star dot conf. Okay, so I'm going to press escape colon W Q exclamation mark to write and quit. Okay, now that we know Apache can see our configuration folders, let's create our first conf file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cd into sites available here. And I'm going to type in sudo vi site1.com.conf. 
and it's important that you do have the .conf extension at the end of your file. Okay, so I am going to copy and paste my configuration file in here and I'll post this below in the description and if, um, if I can't I will link to somewhere where you can get this file from. So let me just correct this here. Virtual host, I'll take a copy of this as well. Okay, virtual host, site1.com, site1.com, the path to site1, and there's some error logs. So that all looks okay. So I'm going to type escape, colon, write, w quit for write quit, wq for write quit, excuse me. Okay, let's make sure that's there. Okay, and now let's do sudo cp, we'll take a copy of this. Site one. Dot, we're gonna call it site two. Dot com. Dot conf. Okay. Let's do ls here. Okay. Perfect. Let's go by site two. Dot com. Dot conf. Oh, excuse me. I'll come out of this. So sudo by site two. Dot com. Dot conf. And where you see one, just change it to two. Okay, so I'm now doing that here. Two, site two, site two. I'm gonna press escape, colon, W, Q for right quit and explanation mark. Okay. Okay, we're, we're nearly there now. So what we need to do is create symbolic links from those sites available config files that we created and put them into our sites enabled folder. So I'm going to type in sudo ln space minus s etc httpd sites available. I'm going to take site1.com.conf and I want to type in etc httpd sites enabled and I'm going to call it site1.com com dot conf and I'm going to do this for site 2 as well so I'll press the up arrow to get the previous command and just change site 1 to site 2 and then press return okay now that we've done all that let's see if we can restart Apache so I'm going to type in sudo service httpd restart Okay, and we're getting an error. No, oh, it's an SE Linux error. Since this is a test site, I am just going to disable SE Linux. If you're confident that you have a correct firewall on your system, you can disable SE Linux like this as well if you're using it as a site. So sudo set enforce zero. Okay, SE Linux will now be disabled. So let's restart Apache here. Perfect, and Apache has started for us. So in the near future as well, I'll create a video on SE Linux and show how to correctly set permissions on folders in SE Linux. But for the time being, just sudo set enforce zero will disable SE Linux. Okay, now let's have a look at our Firefox and let's see if this is working for us now. So we now have two sites on the one server. So I'm gonna type in site1.com, perfect. This is site one. Now let's check site2.com. Perfect, and we have site two. So you've now created a virtual host on Apache. You've had two websites which are now on the one server. You can do this for as many websites as you like. If you have any questions, be sure to post below. And if I can help, I certainly will. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe. Thanks.